so now we are done with the uh, symmetric key cryptography and uh, we will start discussing asymmetric key cryptography so before starting uh, uh, the concepts of asymmetric key cryptography we need to understand its mathematics just like we did with every topic uh, before it right so we, we understood its mathematics first and then we start discussing its uh, basic concepts right so uh, in asymmetric key cryptography we use prime numbers a lot right so uh, you know to to understand uh, the this this kind of uh, cryptography which is private key cryptography or we can also call it asymmetric key cryptography we need to understand the concept of primes because uh, this kind of cryptography it it uses primes extensively right so in this section we will be discussing only a few concepts and uh, uh, and and some facts regarding uh, to primes and uh, uh, those facts will will form the basis of uh, asymmetric key cryptography right so first we will understand that what are primes how do they work uh, how do we factorize primes and all these things so uh, broadly there can be three groups of uh, the positive integers uh, one is uh, uh, the number one itself okay then we have primes and then we have composites so number one we have a different category for uh, number one because uh, uh, there is only uh, one divisor of this number primes prime prime numbers are the numbers which have exactly two divisors okay and these two divisors i uh, are uh, uh, it is it, the number itself and the number one which is this one okay so the number uh, the number which are divisible by only itself and uh, one those numbers are called prime numbers the third category of positive integers uh, is called composites these numbers are the numbers which have more than two two divisors right so here we are focusing only on prime so we will understand it how do they work right so uh, these are some you know basic questions which uh, we will see that what is the smallest prime the smallest prime number we have is 2 which is divisible by itself and 1 right we do not consider 1 as the as the prime number because it is divisible uh, divisible by 1 only right so uh, it it does not have two divisors right uh, now these uh, uh, you know prime numbers which are smaller than 200 are given in this list so here we can see that up to 10 we have uh, four prime numbers up to 20 we have eight prime numbers right so up to 20 we can see that 40 percent numbers are uh, are the are the prime numbers but as we move forward the these number of uh, of uh, primes uh, you know as as we move forward uh, it it decreases right so that is the fact which we need to uh, keep in our mind so this is the list which is uh, uh, you know uh, showing the prime numbers which are less than 200 so we have uh, uh, you know eight prime numbers up to 20 and up to 50 we have 15 prime numbers up to 100 we have 25 prime numbers up to 200 we have 46 prime numbers so this is uh, you know this this um, number uh, which we are having uh, it, it keeps on decreasing right next comes the prime factorization uh, how do we factorize the prime numbers because the the opposite thing is uh, easy uh, you know multiplying uh, multiplying uh, uh, various numbers is easy but factorize a given number is a difficult task and especially the prime prime factorization is difficult because we need to factorize the number in terms of prime only okay so we you you need to uh, you know represent the given number in this form you know you you have to represent this n in the form of these factors and these factors have to be the prime numbers so that is a you know um, quite quite difficult task so while uh, uh, factorizing a number we have to write it as a product of other numbers right 
and uh, uh, factoring a number is relatively hard uh, compared to multiplying the factors together that uh, I was telling you to generate the number. So the prime factorization of a number n is when it is written as a product of primes, right? So if you have this number 91, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, write its factors, then uh, uh, this, this, um, and, and uh, you, you want to, you know, write, or you want to go with this prime factorization, then you have to write its factors, which are, uh, you know, themselves prime, right? So 91 can be written as uh, 7 into 13. So here we can see the 7 and 13, these numbers are primes. Right. So that is quite a difficult task. Just like this, uh, you know, this 3600. Now this is a, a small number, but uh, if this number is large, the task becomes more difficult. Right. So this 3600 can be written as, you know, uh, these these factors which which are uh, which which themselves are prime. Right, so we can write 3600 just like this. So factors हम लोग जैसे calculate करते हैं, we can calculate it just like you know uh, by dividing it with the different numbers, right? Which are prime. So 3600 if if we start with, so पहले हम इसको two से divide कर सकते हैं, then we keep on you know dividing it until uh, we we are unable to divide it with two, then we try to divide it uh, by three and then five and uh, this this process goes on. Right. So this is how we, we factorize the primes. So these things we will we will need further. Uh, so that is why we are discussing all these things over here. Next comes the relatively prime numbers and GCD. So this topic we have already discussed in one of the previous class uh, when when uh, we discussed about you know GCD of the given numbers. We discussed the Euclidean algorithm and all those things. So I told you at that time also that two numbers are relatively prime if their GCD is equal to one, right? And we call these numbers as co-primes as well. So they can be called relatively prime or co-prime. So don't get confused between these two terms. They are same, right? So if they have no common divisor apart from one, we call these two numbers as uh, co-primes or relatively prime. And we represent it as, you know, if you remember GCD, then we write both the numbers A, B, this value is equal to 1, right? So this is how we write it. Uh, here, this, this example is also given. Uh, 8 and 15, we can say they are relatively prime. Why? Because the factors of 8 are, this, these are 1, 2, 4 and 8. And the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. So we can see that uh, the, the uh, greatest common divisor into uh, in, in these factors of uh, 8 and 15 is 1 only. Right, so we can say that 8 and 15 are co-primes or they are relatively primes. Right, so so uh, in, in this book we uh, or uh, in our syllabus we use this terms mostly. This relatively prime okay, instead of co-primes. So we can also determine the GCD uh, by comparing their prime factorizations and using the least power uh, method. So how do we do that? we will be factorizing the given number in terms of prime okay using this prime factorization which we discussed in previous slide and this the second number also it will be written as you know uh, using prime factorization and then we find out uh, uh, the the gcd uh, using their least powers so here you can see the least power of uh, the, the, the smallest power of 2 is this 2 raised to 1. So it is written over here. Smallest power of 3 is 3 raised to 1. So it is written over here. And the smallest power of 5 is it is having 5 raised to 2. And here there is nothing. So we consider it as 5 raised to 0. So this is the smallest power of 5. So when we calculate this thing, we get 6 as answer. So we can say that GCD of 18 and 300 is 
right so we we can uh, we can opt any of uh, these methods to find out the gcd right uh, next comes the cardinality of primes so uh, uh, this this you know uh, when when the concept of uh, uh, prime uh, it it came into existence then two questions arised first was is there a finite number of prim primes or uh, the list of primes is infinite right and uh, second is that how many primes are smaller than or equal to the uh, you know uh, equal to the given number right so uh, the answer to first question is we have infinite number of primes okay so that is the answer of first question and to calculate the number of primes uh you know that uh, how many primes we have which are uh, smaller than or equal to a given number say for example we are given a number and uh, uh, how do we find out that how many primes do we have which are smaller than or equal to that given number so for that we have this expression for uh, using using which we can find out the uh, number of primes so here we use this function which is the pi n function Okay, this is the function, and we can use this expression to find out the uh, the number number of primes which are you know smaller and equal to the given number. So this n will be given, and we can find out the number of primes which are smaller than this or equal to this using this expression. Right. So we can say that if we write uh, this. Pi one, its value will be oh sorry, its value will be zero. Okay, if we write pi two, its value will be one, right? If we write pi three, its value will be Two, right? Because the numbers which are uh, you know smaller or equal to three and are prime are two, which are two and three itself, right? If we write pi four, so that is two again, right? Pi ten like this will be four. Okay, pi twenty will be eight. Pi fifty will be uh, uh, fifteen. Pi hundred will be twenty five, and so on. But if this value of n becomes so large that that uh, you know we 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 cannot. Uh, calculate the number of primes which are smaller than or equal to n just by counting it then in that case we can make use of this expression right so this expression it it has this gaussian function into it which uh, defines the upper limit and the lagrange's uh, value which defines the lower limit right so we can we can find the number of primes which are you know less than uh, uh, this this number which is uh, which is 10 lakh right so how can we find out using this expression so if we if we if we make use of this expression to find out uh, the number of primes which are less than uh, 10 lakh this will be the answer okay let me erase it so it will always give you um the approx range right so using this expression the approximation which we get is this range okay from this to this and the actual number of primes which are less than um, uh, this 10 lakh is 78000 so you can see uh, 78498 so you can see that the exact number of the primes which are less than uh, this number is between this range so
so this expression can give us the range right so these things you you don't need to name uh, uh, don't need to remember but you should know about these things so that is why i'm covering all these things right okay next we uh, have uh, you know how do we check that uh, whether a given number is prime or not right because small numbers we can uh, you know find out up to 100 or up to 200 we can remember also but if the value of number is uh, you know uh, it, it if the number is large then how do we check whether it is prime or not so we can determine it uh, using using this square this value square root of n so we need to see that if the number is divisible by all the primes which are less than square root of n then we say that the given number is prime right so this method is insufficient but uh, in, inefficient but uh, uh, we can we can uh, still make use of it to you know find out uh, whether a given number is prime or not so i'll show you the example as well so this example says that uh, you need to check whether 97 is a prime or not so what we simply do we will be finding out say, finding out uh, the the square root of it and if the square root is you know not an integer number we'll be finding out its uh, floor value so the floor value of square root of 97 is 9 so we need to now check the prime numbers which are less than 9 and those numbers are 2 3 5 and 7 so we need to now see that if this 97 is divisible by any of these numbers so if they are not then we can say that uh, the given number is prime otherwise it is not so 97 is not divisible by any of these numbers which are less than 9 okay which is less than square root of the given number so we can say that 97 is a prime number now there is another example of 301 so we need to check its square root right which is a 17 this floor value it, its floor value is 17 so the prime numbers which are less than 17 are these one right and the these numbers 2 3 and 5 they do not divide 301 but 7 does right so we can say that 301 is not a prime right it it uh, it must not be you know uh, uh, divisible by any of the number which are smaller than this right or equal to this so this is how we can find out whether the given number is uh, prime or not we can check for the primeness of the number one more method we have uh, is uh, you know uh, just by listing all the numbers uh, and uh, and uh, finding out uh, the the primes up to that number so this method which we call as uh, which we call as a sieve of uh, eratosthenes okay it was uh, this method was uh, proposed by a greek mathematician right and uh, what we do in this is we need to uh, find uh, you know all the all the numbers this this example shows you all the numbers which are uh, which are prime and less than 100 right so we need to list all the numbers uh, up to 100 first of all and then we have to check for the square root of the given number so 100 100 is the given number so we need to check the square root of 100 which is 10 okay and then we find out all the uh, prime numbers which are uh, less than 10 and then we will check that uh, you know uh, if there is any number uh, which is uh, divisible by all the primes which are less than 10 so what we will do is we will list all the numbers up to 100 then uh, uh, first we will cross out all the numbers which are divisible by 2 because the, the prime numbers which we have uh, less than 10 are 2, 3, 5 and 7. Right. So first we will cross all the numbers which are divisible by 2 except 2 itself. Then we cross out all the numbers which are divisible by 3 
except 3. Then we, uh, then we cross all the numbers which are divisible by 5 except 5 itself. Then we cross out all the numbers which are divisible by 7 except 7 itself. So the numbers which are left, they, they all are prime numbers. So in this, uh, uh, you know, up to 100, we, we, can, uh, we can get the total number of uh, uh, prime numbers. So if, if you count in this table as well, we have 25 numbers left after, you know, crossing all the numbers which are divisible by 2, uh, 3, 5 and 7, right? So this is one uh, other way uh, uh, which, which we can uh, use, to find, use to find all the primes uh, which are less than the given number, right? So this, this method is, you know, not a very good method to find all the primes which are less than the given number. So we have another method with, with us which is extensively used in asymmetric cryptography, okay, which is, you know, uh, much easier than this and, uh, you know, it, it takes less time, 